Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, coming to you from ITW 2021. Joining me today is Ravi Mahalingam, SVP of International Business at HGC Global Communications. Cliff Tam, VP of Global Data Strategy at HGC Global Communications, and Henry Cheng, VP of Global Data Business at HGC Global Communications. Welcome. Thank you so much, all of you gentlemen, for joining us today. Thank you. And welcome to our viewers to JSA TV. We're going to start today with a, with a question about the digital economy. I mean, what better way to start, right? It's a hot topic, um, you know, and, and we, I think, are aware, most of us now, that the telco digital infrastructure is a critical enabler of this, of the digital economy. So I'm curious if you wouldn't mind, uh, Ravi, telling our viewers what HGC's role is in tackling the challenge, uh, specifically of closing the digital divide in challenging or less developed markets. Uh, thank you, Barbara. Yeah, I think to start things off, you're absolutely right. The digital economy has been accelerating uh, as a result of the pandemic. We are learning new ways of how we deliver services to our consumers. And all these enabled because we have the infrastructure available. So as a telco, we've been in the industry for 20 years. And what we're seeing now is unprecedented uh, uh, in terms of making these services even more available to the domestic and also to the international customers. And we as an international uh, provider, for all these years, we've provided that network, inter uh, uh, interconnected network among all the carriers. Uh, this has been the base uh, for us to expand digitally to reach to new uh, uh, areas. So we have been known in the market uh, to sort of uh, globally present, but we have always put ourselves out there uh, just like our motto, we say, we've got your back. We look out for where the demands and the problems are in the emerging market in our back area, which is in Southeast Asia and Asia. And uh, in this space, in the digital economy demands, a lot of uh, needs from corporate and also from internet companies are springing up where they need to get their eyeball and reach and content even closer uh, in Vietnam, in let's say in the uh, in uh, in Vanuatu Island, for example. So all this is where we thrive and provide that uh, extra mile to find a one-stop shop solution to solve it uh, for this wow. client. And what do we do here? Is in two space. One is on the infrastructure. It's just not enough for you to have a point of presence in in their capital or a couple of point of presence, you need to be able to also reach to even closer to where the eyeballs or the internet exchanges are, or you may need to be able to have a fiber extension to a data center in another city, which would improve the latency, which my colleague uh, Cliff will explain more about. So in that space, uh, infrastructure is essential. And we're fortunate enough for, for in HDC we think uh, one or two steps ahead, not only just a point A, point B solution problem solving, but we also look at how can we serve the customer even further uh, by providing them options. So this is what we do. And we've done this quite well and later uh, Cliff will give some examples. The second one is in the area of platform. So fine, we've got the infrastructure, infrastructure reach uh, ability solved, but that doesn't solve the problem yet. You need to have the right platform in order for us to serve the need and the demand of the client. So a content provider company who's streaming, who needs to reach to their client needs a CDN option or they need a eyeball option. But a client that is in the corporate side who's rolling out a call center in Philippines may need a quick cloud platform or co-location hosting on as soon as possible. So this is where our system integration side and also our corporate uh, ICT area thrives. And Henry would give some examples, uh, including cybersecurity. So all this ecosystem we are learning through and pushing through COVID and it's not easy uh, with all the restrictions, but we are seeing the demand 
and we are serving those demands. And we have had some success uh, in serving in this space uh, in, the, in, in the past uh, 12 months. Yeah, thank you. And I, I think that you um, set um, Cliff up really well here for this next question, because I, you know, as we think about what's driving the, the growth of the digital economy, we think about the explosive growth of applic applications like gaming, IoT, streaming, uh, and others that are really driving the, the requirement, the need for high, broad, uh, high broadband, low latency infrastructure. So Cliff, would you be able to tell us how HGC is transforming business with 5G enabled edge infrastructure uh, in places such as Singapore and the Philippines? Yeah, sure. Uh, we see that uh, with 5G advancement, actually uh, most of the application are pushing to the cloud and also they are pushing to the edge. And uh, as a service provider, our primary objective is to help our customer, no matter OTT or content provider, to improve their customer's uh, quality of experience end to end. Uh, we are looking at different verticals that they are requesting for these kind of services like e-health, multimedia, OTT, smart city, or even gaming. Uh, for example, we launched our eyeball as a service in Singapore February this year uh, in order to help them to reach those uh, eyeball in the market. In which uh, we cover 100% of the eyeball via MNO, ISP, fixed network, or internet exchange in Singapore. Uh, we are actually helping some gaming or OTT customer from China, from US, to reach those eyeballs in Singapore and also extending to Southeast Asia. And the latency is less than 10 milliseconds, which improves greatly their end user experience. And as I mentioned, gaming uh, is a big market uh, actually in Asia. The top 10 country plus China represent 50% of the gaming market in the whole world. And they are still growing at a double digit every year in the coming five to 10 years. So we are aiming to serve them better. That's why in August this year, we also launched the eyeball as a service in the Philippines in which we cover more than 90% of the eyeball. Uh, in the gaming industry, they understand very well that it's very difficult to reach those eyeballs in Philippines. And we are just adding in another 100 million eyeballs in our portfolio, which is uh, very beneficial to the end customer. Um, having said that, uh, this is not the end because uh, we are rolling out more country for the eyeball as a service. More than that, uh, we are providing some IP analytics uh, uh, to analyze the traffic, the trend, and the future demand of the eyeball in the region so that we can help them to prepare for their growth in the future. Uh, in terms of the provisioning, uh, in the past, we are talking about weeks, and now we are talking about days of implementing the eyeballs for our customer, and we hope that uh, we can bring it down to hours so that uh, even for the most difficult eyeball in the region, our customer can reach it uh, just uh, with a click of a button. So this is where we are trying to improve. And I think uh, this will be never end because of the higher resolution, more content, higher demand of all the end users. Yeah. Well, the, the growth is just astounding and your response to it is is impressive really. And it, it, it really, you, ha, you start to think about things like with all this growth, um, you know, I, I know a lot of people are thinking, well, how do we keep this secure, right? And, and so cybersecurity um, continues to grow in importance. I know this is key to HGC's vision of a connected world and, and has been an increasing focus for the Southeast Asian states, as well as really all of Asia, uh, driven by the need to balance the opportunities that are coming forward from the digital economy with the increasing sophistication of cyber threats. Uh, Henry, would you mind talking a little bit about that and, and just you know educating us a bit on HGC's 360 degree approach to protecting the digital assets within Southeast Asia? Uh, sure. Uh, cyber attack is um, constantly evolving. The COVID-19 pandemic has uh, accelerated digital transformations, which 
has already opened an opportunity for cyber attack like uh, with the ransomware business email compromise. So HEC is provide a kind of comprehensive security platform to provide the customer digital access, like phishing service, email detect and respond, NDD doors, endpoint device detect and respond. Also, we will provide a seven times 24 hours uh, SOC service for the customer to um, uh, understand the say the situations and also we will provide a kind of instant response and also report to our customer as well. Also, we will provide some of the pandemic service to our customer, for example, security orchestrations, automation and response to our customer, which can based on the uh, customer say, uh, the workflow and also their own logistic to have some tailor-made solutions for them. Nevertheless, um, training is important because this is good for the customer to go through their know-how and also improve their skill set to aware of the cyber attack. So we will provide different kind of say training course to our customer. For the general staff, we will provide a kind of cyber security awareness a training for them. For some of the technical staff, we will provide an in-depth training to them to let them to know how to handle the cyber attack. In a nutshell, HTC will want to provide a kind of say one-stop shop service to our customer to protect their digital access. Hmm. It's very reassuring to know that you're, I mean, so prepared and so well equipped to, to manage this and, and to, you know, get ahead of it really, especially amidst all of the growth um, that you're undertaking and supporting really. Um, so for our viewers who want to learn more about, you know, what you've shared with us today, Ravi, would you mind telling us where our viewers can go for more information? Yeah, sure. Um, look us up uh, on the internet, uh, www.hgc.com.hk. We have the full integrated telco view of our business. Uh, click on international and if you need something about what we've just spoken. Otherwise, uh, browse through the whole website, uh, the uh, host of uh, information. There. Okay, thank you. So hgc.com.hk. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, all of you, for your time here today, Ravi Cliff and Henry. Uh, we really appreciate it. It's always a pleasure uh, to speak with you and, and to hear what's the latest uh, at HGC. So thank you. Uh, and thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.